hello students now we will see what are the qualities should an entrepreneur should have right the first quality the entrepreneur should have that is organizer means he should able to organize all the factors of production and all the available resources in a such a manner so that the production cost reduces and he will able to maximize his profit then next is risk bearer means when there there is a business there are there are chances of risk some things we can predict some things we can't predict so uh, the entrepreneur has to take risk uh, and he has to introduce new system new work and he has to come over from that risk factor next is coordinator uh, he should able to coordinate all the um, things properly means a uh, production department marketing department sales department and he has to understand the various problems they are facing and what exactly uh, they he need from each department and there should be a proper coordination in this all department then and then only he will able to achieve the target on time and the production quality and quantity will remain proper the next he should uh, have that leadership quality means he should be a good leader good leader means his vision his uh, mission should be clear and he should able to guide each and every person who is working under him then and then only that business will uh, he will able to run smoothly then next very important thing that is opportunist now just um, before that we have discussed about the risk there is a risk in a business at the same time various opportunities at different times are available so he should able to grab that opportunities now you all know due to corona pandemic uh, there is a huge risk for all the businessmen and uh, due to lockdown the production has stopped but few people have taken this opportunity and they have uh, converted their uh, production into the ne most needed things like they started the production of sanitizers masks um, ventilators which is much required and demand has increased all of a sudden so they have taken this opportunity that means a person should able to understand what opportunities are available and he should grab that opportunity right the next is decision making power it is very very important for an entrepreneur the right decision on a right time it is very important so according to the market requirement and the uh, situation he should able to take the correct decision about increasing the production or reducing the production whether he has to spend more on marketing or whether he has to spend more on the production quality and how he is going to manage his finance it is very important decisions he has to take properly then next he should be a good listener means he should uh, understand the problems of his employees and even he should understand the what customers want to say he should able to understand means for that he should be a good listener and according to the requirement of customers he should change the pattern of production and sale and even he has to satisfy his employees so that they will able to give their best to the company right then next is farsi problems means he should able to understand or he should able to forecast ki what will happen next and if this thing happen what will be his strategy right now for example you all know that corona has started in month of december only and from january few uh, countries started a lockdown right so that means uh, these people all the businessmen has started getting idea ki such things can happen to uh, happen in india also the lockdown can will be there so few people were prepared right so accordingly they have started taking the decision so their loss is less 
right next is take up the responsibility means entrepreneur has to take the responsibility of success and failure also and he has to stand up and he has to face all the problems all the conflicts um, in in his business right so this quality entrepreneur should have then and then only he can become or she can become a successful businessman or entrepreneur now uh, our chapter is about the agricultural entrepreneurship now why agriculture entrepreneurship uh, and how it is important you all know that india is basically an agricultural country till now more than 50% people are working in agriculture and contributing only 17% right 17% in national income so these people are working day and night but they are not able to uh, contribute much and their standard of living is low their income is low many people are facing the problem of unemployment they are leading a life that is below poverty line they are not able to fulfill their basic needs also the reason is a uh, lack of agricultural entrepreneurship means they are not doing agriculture as a business means uh, for taking crops also and after that also the, the processing industry um, is not developed and because of that this problem we are facing for example if uh, we have to take the example in the production of sugar cane india stands second right but if you will see the in the uh, contribution of sugar we are just contributing 5% of sugar in total world production why because um, the sugar cane production is huge but the quality of sugar cane is low and secondly due to political problems or unavailability of enough uh, sugar cane factories we are not able to uh, use that fresh sugar cane and convert them into sugar right and aapko pata hai ki agar 2 3 24 ghante ke andar agar ganne sugar factory tak nahi pahunche aur usme processing nahi hua to usme ka juice sukh jata hai and the uh, production decreases and this is what is happening every time you know the example of tomatoes onion sometimes the prices are going up to 100 rupees kg and sometimes it is going waste they are just selling 5 rupees kg or 10 rupees kg the reason is lack of entrepreneurship in agriculture the uh, and <clears throat> many times we have uh, heard that this farmers are attempting the suicide the reason is they are not getting income why because they are not doing agriculture as a business they are the process industry is not developed in agriculture the basic facilities are not available they are not using the technology in agriculture that's why the cost of production is very high so considering all these things uh, what we have to do that india has to work on entrepreneurship in agriculture so um, urban businessmen also taking the uh, benefit of this farmers and they are just misusing their employment misusing their land and uh, their labor right means they are just giving um, less money in return and they are earning huge profit so um, we all know that india is an agriculture country and there is huge potential in a processing industry and in agriculture also we can take different types of crops uh, we have to change the food patterns of uh, taking crops so this is possible if the entrepreneurship in agriculture develop so um, we will see what is agri entrepreneurship agri entrepreneurship which ensures the Uh, using the agri resources in the rural area and engaging the rural human resource for preparing a finished products right now you all know that in india we have a huge um, production of cotton but we have to use um, that cotton for 
textile industry and we have to uh, prepare a finished product because all over the world there is a demand of good quality cotton right so we have to work on that so agri agri entrepreneurship means we have to prepare a finished product in a rural area and earn more profit okay thank you